What is up fellow geeks and repair enthusiasts, today we're going to be running you through a screen replacement for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, so this video should function as a complete guide if you've broken your screen and want to try fixing it yourself. If you need parts and tools, we've got everything at techdep.com, one click, get it quick, to your door, and if you see this video and decide this is above your pay grade, we do mail-in repairs as well. So. Tools you're gonna need, very simple. You're gonna need some kind of a spudging tool. We're using the eye opener. Obviously, you're gonna need your replacement screen, some isopropyl alcohol. A heating mat is nice. You can get away with a heating gun, but you have a little bit more control with the heating mat. A tri-wing screwdriver, a pentalobe screwdriver, and a Phillips screwdriver. And that is just about it. So, off the bat, you're gonna see we are using a pentalobe screwdriver. We've got our heating mat set to about 40 degrees, really just to help loosen up some of that adhesive around the screen. This phone is rated IP67, not IP68 like the newer models, and you can really tell based on the amount of adhesive that is used to secure that screen in place. There's not that much as compared to some of the newer models that are IP68 and have a ton of adhesive and require a whole lot of TLC to pop that screen open. So first thing we are doing, we are taking the tri-wing screwdriver, getting rid of that bracket that covers the flex cable that connects to our battery. Reason being, you don't want your battery connected to the phone while you're doing this repair. And then we're working on that plate that has six tri-wing screws underneath there are going to be the flex cables for the LCD, the digitizer, as well as the front proximity sensor. So of course all of this is straightforward, it's really just removing screws and flipping up flex cables. As far as spudging the- whoa, <laughs> can we get a replay on that? <laughs> As I was saying, as far as spudging goes, you kind of want to poke and prod at it, reason being you don't want to get too deep and accidentally nick those flex cables on the right side, and also you don't want to crack the screen as they are recyclable. That is an air tool. All we're doing is cleaning up some dust, trying to make sure that things look nice for our customer when they come back for their phone. So there we're using the Phillips screwdriver in order to free up that proximity sensor so we can attach it to the new screen. That piece is not broken. And you may notice that we have the screen down on the heating mat and that is to loosen up some of that adhesive as always in order to free up the proximity sensor without pulling on any of those flex cables, those ribbon cables and potentially tearing them. So there again, just blowing out some dust. A lot of times there gets to be some dust in that proximity sensor and people complain that they can't hear, of course, which makes sense. So we're just blowing out some dust. Of course, this is for a client and we wanna make sure that we exceed expectations. And one way to do that would be to clean out that proximity sensor while we have it outside of the phone. And I actually think that we replace the plastic on that proximity sensor for this repair as well at no cost to the client. Just kind of a nice thing to do. And often uh, you don't really realize how little you can hear through that earpiece as a result of the plastic on the proximity sensor. So now we are just reconnecting those cables. We're doing them in reverse order of before. So before it was battery, ribbon cables, flex cables, and then the LCD, the digitizer, and the proximity sensor. We're doing it in reverse now because, of course, the last thing that we want to do, uh, literally, the last thing we want to do in like a temporal sense is reconnect that battery, not like the last thing we want to do. So now that we have everything linked up, we are going to put that plate back on the ribbon cables for the digitizer, the LCD, and the proximity sensor, and then after that, we are pretty much good to go. This really is a straightforward repair. One quick thing to note is that when performing this repair, you have a couple of options for the screen, one being LCD and the other being a slight step up, which is that OLED screen. And now we are going to check to make sure things are working. And it sure looks like they're working. Looks like we have responsiveness. Things are good and Hopefully our client will be happy. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's the best way to support the channel. And if you need any parts, gadgets, tools, head on over to techdep.com. We do mail-in repairs. We ship all over the world. We do data recovery. We do it all. I've got links in the description in case you guys need anything from the site. And otherwise, I will see you next time.